today I will be experiencing the Macintosh House of Sound. I'm being picked up in a Jeep Grand Wagoneer with Macintosh sound system. Just like any Macintosh system, it sounded good and looked smashing too. Would I pay for it? Most probably not, but that's just because I don't like Jeep Grand Wagoneer. It's too big for me. And 15 minutes later, we arrive at House of Sound. And right away, we went all the way up to the rooftop. And the scenery is magnificent. It's truly breathtaking and grandeur. This video does not do justice whatsoever with the grandeur of this 360 view of the city. And when I was up there, we were listening to a Sonos Faber architectural speakers powered by Macintosh Distributed Audio Digital Amplifier. And expected from Sonos Faber, the sound is amazing. It's great. It's clean. It's nothing like any outdoor system that I've ever listened to. By the way, the entire equipment list can be read in the description down below. From the rooftop, we went inside, listening to Sonus Faber in a regular size living room. There is no acoustic paneling, nothing like that. It, it feels like an actual living room where you, you know, do your activities. And although there's a CD player slash SA CD player in the room, we were listening to high-res streaming, obviously using a Macintosh streamer and Macintosh Monoblocks power amplifier. Beyond that, the cosmetics of the preamp itself, you see the tubes lining up impeccably. It's very eye-catching, but not garish in any sense of the word. And one of the equipment that really caught my eyes is the Room Perfect Kit. This room correction system is very effective without sounding forced, but sounding natural instead. And now for the PS2 resistance, I present you the MC3500 power amplifier. Just look at those gorgeous tubes. Of course, you can take off the cage if you don't want to use them. And now, let me present you the legendary needle with blue backlight. And of course, the titular Macintosh Green. And while we're at it, I have to talk about the remote control. It's made of machine aluminum. It's properly balanced, exuding the feeling of perfection in my hand with a very nice tactile feeling without any sound of clicking. In the next room, size of a regular office, I listened to the sound of these Sonos Faber speakers powered by Michi with a slew of Rotel equipment. Again, the room is not heavily acoustically treated in order to closely resemble an actual room. Next, we moved on to a disco room, listening to a pair of bookshelf Sonus Faber. Over here, I saw the Macintosh turntable, but I was here listening to streaming instead of playing vinyl. Right underneath it, I can see the stereo integrated amplifier. That is so gorgeous. I mean, just look at those tubes on the MA12000. It's wow. And of course, don't forget the blue needle display. They are simply gorgeous. And most importantly, gorgeous sounding. I'm not your baby. And although those speakers are minuscule in size, the bass were deep and very impactful considering the size of the speakers. Moving on, I went to the fourth room. This is a typical size of a living room if you're a billionaire. And what I like best from this entire experience center is that the rooms are, you know, they actually do feel like room. They don't feel like a showroom. They are not heavily padded. They are not sounding like a studio. Because quite honestly, these are the types of room people will actually use these equipments. The rooms are not going to be heavily padded, heavily acoustically treated. Because at the end of the day, you want to live and you need to live with your sound system. And this is because the room still has to be very livable and not turn into sterile looking and sterile sounding room. 
Nobody wants to live in a showroom. And if you have the means to do it, I highly recommend for you to contact your Macintosh dealer and set up a time to visit the House of Sound in New York City. The Moniker Experience Center befits Macintosh House of Sound perfectly. Bring your own disc, bring in your vinyl, bring in your CD or SACD. Experience the songs that you are already familiar with at a completely different level. The level that you will never ever get from going to a mere showroom. And from my visit to House of Sound, wow, it's well surpassed my expectation, all my expectation. And I cannot state this often enough, this is truly a real life application of Macintosh in the real world. And the only thing better than everything that I've seen so far is the Macintosh MX180 9.16.4 surround system. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's 16 subwoofers. And the impressive part is that those 16 subwoofers are not overwhelming, overpowering. Everything sounds very well balanced, deep, and very, very quick. And it fits really well with my home theater design philosophy. It's truly impressive. So there you go. We are at the end of the video. What do you think about Macintosh in general? What do you think about House of Sound? Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching and goodbye.